He said just moments ago here, Oklahoma's 5th Congressional District flipped for the second time in four years. Congresswoman Kendra Horn conceding late last night. And this morning, we are here with Con Congresswoman-elect Stephanie Bice. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me this morning. And we know this must be an exciting time for you. So how do you feel waking up this morning? Well, um, I didn't get a whole lot of sleep last <laughs> night, so um, I'm a little sleep deprived. I'm running on caffeine and adrenaline, but I am thrilled. Uh, it was a great uh, victory, and I'm just looking forward to uh, hitting the ground running and getting started to work for Oklahoma. Why do you think the voters in your district were ready for the seat to be flipped back right here? You know, I think that the 2018 election was a surprise. Uh, we lost this congressional seat by 3,300 votes, an incredibly small margin out of 240,000 cast. And um, I think that people wanted to see, you know, Republican values return to the seat. Uh, and I also am a member of the state Senate currently and have really proven myself and my ability to get things done uh, on the state level. And so I think that Oklahomans in this district were looking for somebody that could really um, get to work for them. And for those 145,000 ish people who did cast their votes for Kendra Horn, what would you like to say to them this morning? You know, I want to, you know, be that member that certainly tries to bring uh, both sides together, have good conversations. I've done that um, on the state level, running all sorts of legislation that is really, uh, you know, bipartisan things like criminal justice reform and alcohol modernization. So uh, we'll, there'll be opportunities to work together. I certainly want to listen uh, and, and let them know that their voices will be heard. Uh, but I'm excited for the opportunity to get started. So with your win last night, Oklahoma is now back to an all Republican congressional delegation. How do you think that will help get things done in Washington and get things done for Oklahoma? Well, I think it's going to things are remaining to be seen right now in the uh, presidential race. You know, hopefully President Trump will uh, continue for another four years and that'll give us the opportunity to really get some things done. Uh, certainly, it's a little bit of a challenge or it, it'll be a different perspective currently in Oklahoma and the state legislature. It's a super majority on both the House and the Senate. And uh, you have Governor Stitt uh, on the executive side. And so it's a little bit easier probably to get things through uh, right now on the state level than it will be in Washington. But I certainly look forward to working uh, with both parties to, to move Oklahoma forward. And speaking of that cooperation here, what is it going to take for Congress to cooperate and get things done in the aftermath of such a tight and, and some would say somewhat divisive election? You know, I think people just have to put, put aside um, their feelings and realize that we're all working towards, in many ways, a common goal, and that's uh, the, the better of our states, the, uh, the better of the country, and uh, really find things that we can agree on. Certainly, you're never going to agree with someone 100% of the time, even with your own party, uh, but there are a lot of commonalities and things that you can agree on, and those things need to be uh, move forward. A great example of that right now is continuing to support our small businesses across the state. Uh, there's leftover CARES dollars that have been unspent, and I think that we need to put those up, uh, reopen the PPP program, and let Oklahoma small businesses apply for a second round should they need it uh, to keep them going and, and help them get through this really difficult economic time. Yeah, and, and what other topics or reforms are you kind of looking forward to getting right to work on first? You know, I think the other thing that's going to be a big topic of conversation with the next um, Congress is going to be health care. Uh, I think every middle class Oklahoma family has seen their premiums go up significantly over the past eight to 10 years. Prescription drug costs are through the roof. Um, we have high deductibles. And so we've got to really figure out how do we move healthcare into a arena that is, um, you know, more of a competitive environment. You have price transparency, affordability. Those are going to be things that are going to be really important. And I'll be looking to do that uh, next session. So we're looking at healthcare, looking at small businesses. The coronavirus, another huge topic here. How will you approach the pandemic once you're sworn in? And, and what are the, some of the things you'll push for in a potential coronavirus relief bill? A lot of people have been waiting for that next round of relief here. What are some things you'll be looking at? Well, certainly we definitely need to make sure that we're continuing to support our small businesses. They are the backbone of our of our state and our communities. And so making sure that they survive this downturn is gonna be important. A lot of industries have been significantly impacted, uh, travel and tourism especially. So whatever we can do to ensure that those folks um, can survive or whether the storm is gonna be important. Uh, as far as you know, trying to combat this, I think the most important thing is uh, supporting continuing uh, funding for vaccines because that's really the only thing that's gonna get us out of this. And the president uh, launched Operation Warp Speed, worked with Congress to get funding for that. And there are, I believe, five 
clinical trials, phase three clinical trials right now of a vaccine. And that's really gonna be important uh, as we look to the, the winter and then spring months next year. All right, Stephanie Weiss, we appreciate this morning. Once again, uh, congratulations on your victory and uh, please keep us updated as you're sworn in and you move there into, into Washington. We wanna know everything you're working on. So we appreciate it. Thank you for having me this morning.